Hello everyone, welcome back to the dungeon beneath. There is one more god we have yet to slay in Nazatoth. So we're going to take Elder Grix out today. We have Everburning Torch, start battle, summon an Everburning Flame, and when an ally dies, attack. So let's see what we can make happen with that, shall we? Who do we begin with here? We have Cleric of the Path. Follow up, restore one health to a non to a damaged non-heroic ally. So we get some free healing. And now that we have defeated two gods, we have two boons to choose from here. We can take the blood of Abaddon for eight gold or the blood of Ilafar, gain a random level two character. I'm going to take the level two character, see who we get. We get the sharpshooter when an enemy gains poison, deal two damage to them. Well, we've got no poison synergy yet, but if we can get some, I'll be very happy for it. Now, the first battle is usually a given. Ever-burning flame, elemental, no attack, end round, give an ally plus one power. Not a bad thing to have. It's just going to be one damage extra out of somebody each turn, provided that person is attacking. And when the ever-burning flame dies, we will also get an extra attack out of Elder Grix here. So we'll take our four gold over to camp. See what we can get. Follow up, trigger all allied doom effects. Restore one health for each allied lizard folk. Doom, deal one damage to a random enemy. All right, we'll take Haraspex for now. They do not attack ever, which is interesting. Literally no attack. So they only do damage to stuff in the event that something else dies. So we'll definitely have to keep an eye out for that. But for now, do what we can do. Well, that's quite the combo, isn't it? But we're fine. Right. For upgrades. If we're going to keep Harris specs. I think. What are they? We can check can't we? Uh, H for Harris specs. Level 3. Deal 4 damage to a random enemy. Every time something dies. Alright. Let's see if we can make that work long term. Fighting Fang, Lizard Folk only, end round, gain plus one power. Well, we can give that to our guy, our hero. When an allied beast dies, summon a dire rat. We have to try and protect the lost adventurer. Lost adventurer got the power. I don't know if they're going to attack. No. They do not, even when they have the additional power, unfortunately. But the healing is doing great. Right. We're going to keep putting stats in there. Let's go recruit someone else because we still have a basic follower with us. Give all other allied undead, no. Gain double the amount of power. Restore one health, not what I'm looking for. Trigger doom effects. Would be good for Harris specs. Follow up, trigger all allied doom effects. All right. We'll try and make a doom run happen. We're not going to get much use out of this sharpshooter for poison, but that's fine. So we're looking for other doom effects. Doom restore one health. You are follow up restore one health to a non heroic ally. You are just healing yourself, not anyone else with this doom. So I'll hold off on that. When an ally dies, gain two power, soul cast, summon a skeleton, scheme. When this character kills an enemy, restore one health to a non-heroic 
damaged ally. Summon doves. This is not the stuff I want. Last chance. Something good. You are an elf. You are an elf. You're a human. No, I think that's going to be it. All right, let's keep moving. Right. Let's move you off of there. You're front only, so you have to be in the front to be beneficial. But this follow-up to this going off twice, or going off an extra time at the end of the round will be good once we get there. How slow are you going? One, two, three. You're going last. I think we should kill you before anything else terrible happens. No. Oh, of course, you don't attack anything. Well, we got there. Level up, deal two damage to a random enemy on Doom. Put you back there. And I would love to recruit someone else. So these fireplaces have five options around them. And you can buy experience in the center as well. So the cultist for doom restore one health we've seen before. I don't even know if there is other doom people out here. Give all allied mages plus one. I mean, I'd be replacing a mage for a fighter, so that doesn't really sit too well. When a character gains power, deal one damage to a random enemy. Trigger. Well, we need to get rid of you anyway. Really. We need more dooms. End round, summon an enemy bloodshade in this lane. All right, we're going to sell the sharpshooter. We're going to get the sanguist. And I'm not going to be super happy about it, but we can't have everything in this world. Bonus objective, take no hero damage. That was incredible because it went kill something, do two damage, that two damage killed something, do two damage, etc. Which is really good going for us. This thing, when it dies, it'll do four damage to the enemy hero. So I think we're looking quite all right. Get the cash, then who? Channeler, how does your stats increase? We're just gaining health. Who else do we have here? You just gain health, I think. All right, I'm going to go all in on this guy's improvement. Armor, health, can't be poisoned, speed. When an ally dies, deal one damage to the nearest enemy, mage only. All right, I'm going to give that to the guy that gets more stuff dead. So something dies, deal two damage to a random enemy. And oh, when an ally dies, deal one damage to the nearest enemy. Well, it'll be fine. All right, well, we're basically out of cash. And the boss, the reanimated Colossus. Right, not ideal. But really, not much I can do about it. Alright, I think we're going to be okay. 
We're going first. We do one damage. They are very dead. Just need to find some better synergies. Right. You're going up to top level. That will do four damage per Doom now. We don't need to heal, so we can sell that. We'll take eight gold. After the first round, summon an enemy lesser void wisp. Give the lowest power mage one power. Allied elves and elementals gain three speed. We have two elves, don't we? Undead, elf, elf, human. Eh. Mages can't be exhausted. Beasts and liver folk. Liver folk? Lizard folk. Start battle, give an ally plus one to an allied lizard folk gnome and elemental. Not what we need. Gain one gold, your hero has, if your hero has. That doesn't, I'm not sure about that. Come on, give me something good. Hero attacks an additional time. End round, gain one power. So we'll have two, so we'll do four. All right, we'll take that. Down to the second floor. Off to the potion shop. Don't know if we'll find anything good, but we'll try. Mage only. Transform a mage into a multi-class. Potion of versatility. Transform a fighter into a multi-class. Midas potion. Transform a mage into a statue. Um... I don't think that multi-classing is really going to help us here. So I'm going to keep the cash. Poisonous snake. But this guy gives himself one power, so he'll do two damage twice now. Yeah, the synergies are decent. Just going to be tough when there isn't small stuff to kill all the time. How does the Sanguinist change? QRS. Attack and health. All right, we'll do that. Soul cast is incredible. That's plus two attack while at maximum health. When this character gains power, they also gain shield. Are there any dooms that we can find at the underneath and abyss? Scheme, round end, poisonous, counter, Doom, summon a blood wisp, the blood leech. But that's it. All right, I'm going to drop Cleric of the Path. I'm going to take the Fallen Adept. They're just too good to have on side, I think. Still got five gold, but I don't think we're going to find anyone else to recruit right now. So we have three. That means this will do six. This guy has four health. Soul cast still goes off. Not sure why they took double damage at the end there, but I'm not going to complain. Time for shopping. Always time for shopping. After the first round, summon a lizard folk hatchling. I mean, it would be another body on the board. And it would be something that could die to trigger doom and souls. Go on then. 
That leaves us with three gold. Probably not going to get anything good for two after we re-roll, so we won't. So, two attack, seven speed. Well, that went swiftly. Get the bonus damage for killing all enemies. You get to level up. Two attack and extra health. Um, I don't think I want to recruit right now, so we'll see if we can take a deal. What do you have in store for me today, Bathin? Random status effect. Enemy hero has plus one attack. The enemy hero has plus three health. Plus three health I can handle. And the orb progenitor is going to produce loads of small stuff for us to kill and then trigger doom cascades off of, which will be lovely. Watch this. As soon as the first one goes. And then pop that to finish. Very nice. And just as a formality, I guess, everything else gets to die. I guess it makes a big difference if you have the kill all enemies sub goal to get two extra gold. Lizard folk only attacks against enemies apply poison. We can take it. Not going to have room for the other big relics we get at the boss fights, but you know, do what we can. We managed to make room for our hatchling. Not that we're going to need it. There you go. Defeat all enemies because we defeated the thing that got summoned at the end. Uh, 19 gold already. That calls for more shopping. Right. When an ally dies, deal one damage to the nearest enemy. Round end, deal one damage to the lowest health enemy. You're an elf that can't attack, so take that. Start battle, gain one soul. Undead only. You can have one of those, because one soul is worth two damage to us, but will be worth four damage when we get one more experience. Fighter, plus three health. Go on then. And then boss number two. It's Fyrus. So, I'm going to stick two damage into that. Oh joy, we're paralyzed. Well, we don't have any souls to spend anyway. So, just pop off another round of attacks. That has not gone well. Our guy with the doom didn't get to attack very much because they were frozen so their doom wasn't triggering. Which is a problem. Right, let's figure this out. You're going third. We'll attack this. That'll take four damage. You're going first. You're going fourth. We'll hit this. So I think... We break that shield and attack. Oh, counter. Getting wrecked by counter. That's what's been doing. That's why you should always read the fine print. I thought I had a good thing going. All right, the void summoner has been unlocked. Round end, summon an enemy Void Wisp. Can be found at campfires in the underneath and the abyss. And the Void has a new room. Well, my 
feeble foible causes us to have a short run today but join me next time we'll see if i can pay attention to what's going on around me and we'll see if we can kill that third god yet for now thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one cheers